What's up, Buttercup? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little different. It's actually a writer-focused video, but this is all about the reasons why your book might not be selling, or it was selling and there's a huge drop. And this is probably going to be a little outdated in like a year or so, but I am seeing so, so many writers freaking out because they either were doing well and it just tanked or it has been a slow slow drop and now you're like one dollar in royalties for november 2023 right on average book sales are down for lots of any indie and trad writers why well let's focus on what's been happening in the world and really focusing on the last few months rather than me going into what's going on with your sales page or metadata or your cover and or your actual story because that's all very individual and I'd have to look at your book and sales page on a case-by-case -case basis and obviously I can't do that right now <laughs> so that aside what is going on that your books are not selling? Well, <laughs> we're gonna go down a list because there's a quite, quite an extensive list. And the first point is there are two wars happening that are constantly on the news and in social media. November is shopping for others and not myself. I'm doing that right now. <laughs> People are browsing, keyword browsing, way more now than they have in other months and i've actually noticed that that was happening in september september usually it starts the last week of october maybe like the third week of october but it's not enough where it's like really drastic you're just noticing it right mm, yeah no <laughs> that started in september this year and that's just indicative of what I already mentioned and the stuff that I'm going to mention. But remember that November is shopping month for the holidays. And so is the beginning of December. The winter holidays will happen, of course, right? And then December 26th, predicting, <laughs> I'm going to predict as are, you know, many other writers and marketers and all that stuff, that book sales will increase and jump back up because people have new kindles they have kindle unlimited they have gift cards or they have you know straight up cash and so they're like oh i have a hundred dollars in cash that's cool i'll uh go get a few ebooks and that's it's gonna balance itself out so really for that point for point number two it's browsing time and i know that's stressful but hypothetically predicting by December 26th you'll see a spike. Number three, inflation still sticking around in basically every country. I can't think of one country that does not have inflation right now or that it's borderline were maybe maybe not eh, <laughs> going into a possible recession. So that means people are on budgets and they're focused on holiday spending like i said in the second point so they're focused on holiday spending and budgeting that into their overall money plan and that would be oh well i'm not going to buy books for myself i'm buying other items for other people but it's within this specific money range i can't go out of that range or else i might not be able to pay my bills or maybe even just one bill but that's really important bills are more important than having a book or two for yourself right now number four there are multiple civil wars happening across the world a lot of those civil wars are on the news some of them are not however those countries and those people in those countries they buy they buy books too but um other things 
are more important than books. Other things are more important than I want fill in the blank. Number five, also the past few months we have had multiple natural disasters and those affected aren't thinking about once at this point. They're thinking about survival in many cases. They are thinking about saving money or how do I get more money and not what they want because their wants are on the back burner until things are figured out with their job, their home, their loved ones, whatever that may be. And those natural disasters are not just happening in the US, there have been multiple other natural disasters really the past six months, if not basically the whole year, that have really hit hard. So with all of that happening, people are thinking about needs, not wants. And books are wants. I know that I definitely need to read to have uh, a good mental health day or week or month or year. But if I'm going to choose between paying bills or buying five books that would pay for ha at least half of those bills, you know, or a bill, a full bill, like a, like a electric bill or the phone bill. I'm not buying the books. Those books are not needs at this point. We have shifted into money saving. And in a lot of cases for a lot of people across the world right now, it's survival. Is that unfortunate? abso fucking lutely right? Including myself right now, I am back on my book buying ban. I am working six to seven days a week to pay off debts. So buying books, not, not in my mind, not at all, <laughs> not at all. And I know that the holiday spending due to inflation is going to be more than the past few years, even during the lockdown. There are like a few things that have kind of sort of evened out, but that's not enough. Definitely not enough to stop worrying about money and how you pay your bills. Readers are buying less if they're buying at all. They're also buying at thrift stores or they're going to the library. So they're still reading, possibly, but they're either going to buy one book a month, two books a month, or little library, or actual library, or they're going to Goodwill and buying, you know, $20 worth of books, but it's actually like, I've never been to a Goodwill for books, but let's say 30 books for $20 versus one book for $20. Yeah. And of course, you're not going to see those royalties if your book is at the Goodwill or at Books A Million because that's third party. You might see posts on social media and that's kind of like a long haul game that you also want to keep in mind. I do put my books at the li little libraries around where I live. I don't know if that has resulted in much other than someone reading that book because they always go really fast. Thank you. But it's better than nothing, right? They do want to read. Like I'm still reading, but I'm reading what I own and I'm not buying new books. Actually, I'm not buying any books. <laughs> I'm going to the little library or the library or like I said, reading the books that I already have. So it's also a lot of catch up for your TBR and people are, are also waiting for December 26. So then, you know, maybe they don't have a gift card for $100, but they have it for $45. Well, then that's already going to be not as many books as, you know, in the past years where they've gotten $100 because that person who gave the reader an Amazon gift card, they're also struggling. So this is a ripple effect going on. And you know, with all of that I've mentioned, 
can you see why your book sales have dropped either somewhat significantly or just went to zero yeah it's a lot that was a lot uh, that was a lot <laughs> i need some tea to calm down but please remember that you cannot control what's going on right now in the world and that sucks it absolutely sucks my royalties are the worst they've been in a long time i'm looking at my kdp dashboard i'm like oh, are you serious <laughs> Ugh. why i know why but i'm like ugh. please remember that if you cannot control something then you can control your actions and your reactions to whatever is going on so what can you do right now if sales have dropped or there are no sales whatsoever write the next book edit your manuscript read a book or two that you already own do some market research for your genre limit ad spend whether that's on facebook or bookbub or amazon which i am doing i've limited my ad spend do that connect with other writers do nano for november i'm posting this in november you're yeah but <laughs> when you hit the other months don't do nano because like that's not ongoing but that means you could also do writing sprints because there's always writing sprints going on it does not matter the time or the day there is a writing sprint going on on youtube you can totally join that build up your website and or newsletter and if that's already done then make your next newsletter just write it up schedule it good to go and you know there's so much more that i did not mention but those just the stuff that i'm doing that uh popped up in my mind that are not too in depth well i guess it depends but <laughs> like the market research could be really in depth depending if it's a new genre of yours you know you're doing like a pen name or something and you're you're doing um world war ii historical fiction have fun <laughs> yeah that's why i don't work uh, i don't write world war ii historical fiction <laughs> yeah it depends it all depends what you are capable of doing as well can you only do maybe the newsletter and schedule it and that's all you can do for the week or the the month i think you should look at what you can and can't do mentally emotionally physically especially during the holidays in and around the holidays and that also includes new year's eve slash new year's day i count it as a holiday it's very busy for a lot of people so the next three months busy this year the past few years it's extremely hard things are very hard and upsetting and frustrating and i think that as long as you acknowledge that in yourself and then in others you can understand why your books have not been selling as you want them to or maybe they were selling very well and there has now been a decrease or you saw a little pickup and you're like oh very excited but then it's down to zero royalties fairly fast it's a difficult time i'm not going to say unprecedented because i've i've seen and heard that word so many times i'm done with that word it's a, <laughs> it's a difficult time and like i said be there for yourself, be there for others, and you can control your own actions and your reaction, and that's all you can do right now. Please take care of yourself, and also remember to have fun. Writing should be fun, even though you might, or might not, depends on the person, might think of this as a small business. I think of it as a small business. You still have fun with a small business, or else what are you doing? I don't know. That's up to you to decide, right? All up to you to decide. But please let it be known that if you need support, you can email me or you can just drop that in the comment section below. My email is in the about section on my YouTube channel. So if you need some mental health 
resources on the gal. Maybe you want me to look at your sales page, uh, your book sales page. I can do that as well. But just know that everything, even though it doesn't feel like it, everything will be okay. And if not, then there are ways to work on it being okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.